praying without sacrifice some prayers are not answered because some people are praying without sacrifice listen to me i have done not like my father and the lord but i've fasted in my life i have fasted i have fasted till i was sneezing blood blood coming out of my nostrils sir there are certain prayers that can never be answered unless there is blood on the altar certain prayers can never have expression unless there is blood on the altar when 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 god needs to open the heavens in the old testament an animal is killed no matter the strength of the priest to atone it, it drops an animal on the altar there must be blood on the altar many are praying and they are not backing their prayers with sacrifice so heaven is not opening for them heaven is not responding to them because they are not backing up no order in their life am i communicating am i communicating psalm 126 verse 5 they that sow in tears they that sow in tears i read something in my bible in genesis 22 i'm, I'm, I'm rounding up verse 2 god said to abraham take thy son <laughs> and look at the way god emphasized it take thy son thy only son whom thou lovest and offer him for a sacrifice abraham said okay abraham took isaac when he tied isaac god said nothing when he did everything god said nothing the bible says in verse 10 as he took the knife the lord said don't kill thy son watch this watch this in verse 12 the angel said to him now i know you fear god ah. a man left his father's house a man interceded for lot over sodom and gomorrah one time the lord spoke to me i'm giving i'll give you this parable when the lord tells you to sow a seed to avert a problem a danger the lord begins to impress it in heart. i'll give you this i had a member that was sick i loved him you know there are people who are loyalists this they are with pastor 247 i love them he was sick i don't pray for people twice the healing anointing on my life is very strong i don't pray for people twice or twice you, you get healed i laid hands on this man i prayed and prayed i felt he was done the wife called me say, ah, sir we didn't sleep at night we rushed into the hospital hospital i said ah. after i prayed for him I said, bring him back. How do I say, bring him back? I lay dance. He felt strong, left my office. He was sick again. And I said, what's going on? I mean, I, I wouldn't pray for some people. I just walk past and they are healed. So what's going on? And the Lord said to me, give your car as a seed. So I said, what is a car? No, no, you can be very logical at times. I said, what as a car? What? I took a seed in my hand. I said, Lord, I'm sowing it for, for God since health. I dropped it. He was still alive. I had it clearly. And I asked, Lord, which of the cars? Then I had like four. The Lord said, that, He told me the one to give. I said, Ah. <laughs> Am I the one that's sick? <laughs> ah. I said, Lord, no, I'll give two of that. The Lord said, Give that. He said, Ah. I was arguing with the Lord. Two days later, he died. When he died, I carried the key. Oh Lord, God said, I don't need it. I was weeping. I was crying. Sir, we serve a God that rejects sacrifice. When God rejects sacrifice, he will make nature work against you. You have fasted. You know, my wife said to me one day, she woke up. She said, I can't sleep. I can't sleep. God is troubling me. I said, What? He said, I'm looking for a woman. She, she left the house and drove. Drove.
not far after the guy. She came back smiling. Thank you, Jesus. I said, What? He said, I've been in trouble, in pains. God wouldn't let me rest. That same week, she became pregnant. There are certain doors that can never open. Never, no matter your prayer. Ecclesiastes 11 verse 4 He that observeth the wind will not sow What does it mean to observe the wind? You are waiting for all conditions to be right When you give a sacrifice Don't check what you are giving Check where it's going Check where the seed is going Psalm 50 verse 5 Call my sons who have entered a covenant with me by sacrifice Sir there are certain doors that will not open unless there is blood on the altar a pastor i share this with you and i pray was believing god for an opportunity his church was not doing well he needed a church building there was a wealthy man this wealthy man had only one son anytime he's driving past he will see the pastor outside so he told his wife he said this pastor is in the bachelor i have a land let me give him a land the wife said ah if you give somebody a land why not you just build a church he said god forbid where will i get money from he said go ahead and do it so what happened they got the land when the land was there this man called the wife and said how do i raise money for the church he said but you have money thank god for good women and they started the building when he built it the wife said why not you equip it Ah, uh-uh. he put chairs the son was coming back from his youth service. There is what we call NYSC in Nigeria. On his way back, a car ran him over. The boy died. The brother comes to the father. Gather my sons who have entered the covenant by sacrifice. Brought the boy home. The father put him in the car and said to the pastor, He said, Pastor, where are you? He said, I'm in, the, I'm in the office. Okay. He said, I told you I was bringing the jazz band. The drum. He said, yes. He said, I'm on my way with the drum. When he got there, he told the two boys, he said, bring out my son. They brought him. He said, drop him on the altar. He said, Pastor, I built a church. I bought instruments. I bought seats. And God watched my son and allowed him to die. He said, Pastor, I brought it to my son to God. Tell God to bury him. I'm going. He left. The pastor, I heard the testimony from the pastor. The pastor said he sat down on the altar, one edge, like a thief that had just been exposed. <laughs> sat down. The, the, the corpse was there. He was looking at the corpse. He said, Lord, you called me. I answered. You told this man to build. He built. The son is dead. Uh, Lord, between me that answered the call, the man that built the church, or you that let the son die, who is guilty? (laughs) Because he didn't know what to say. He said, Lord, because the man had driven off in anger. Move close. Hmm. Lord, who is guilty? Why would you allow me to go through this shit? In this place of worship that we are given. While he was still doing that, the hands were moving. The hands, the legs were moving. Now it was not his prayer that was speaking, sir. It was blood on the altar. Revelations 5, verse 8. Is a veil of golden order. These are the prayers of the saints. The prayers of the saint. The prayers of the saint. Hey, there are marriages that will not get balance once there is blood on the altar. First Corinthians chapter ten, verse twenty, talking about sacrifice given to idols. From that scripture, we understand that sacrifice is the food of spirits. When you give sacrifice sacrifice spirits are invited who has a khaki who has a khaki a khaki khaki oh lord you are looking for khaki like this this is a khaki this one is a khaki 
when a man carries this is a key this is a key when a man carries a car key like this and drops and that's his only car when he drops a key what he has just done he has invited spirits not metal spirits are invited because what is given is a sacrifice that is why in the occult world in the ungodly world when a person has a level of trouble they ask for a sacrifice because this is an issue that only spirits can handle there are attacks in the body you need a tablet there are some you need painkillers but there are things that you get inflicted you need operation there are battles of life that need to be operated this one is beyond three days fasting it is a sacrifice from heaven am i communicating here is a sacrifice from heaven that shows up God told me to bless a pastor and I said what do I do? He said give him a house I called the young man up I said what's the problem you have? He said my rent I wanted to give him rent God said give him a house and I gave him a house two flats in Benin and I asked myself what did I just do? I could have just paid his rent few days after that the Lord gave me an estate in Lekki I didn't buy land didn't pay can i surprise you till date i have not gone to see the estate i sent my driver i said go and check it come back and tell me how it is he came back and he told me i said oh, wonderful we bless the lord he said oh god you know go check out i said i'm not an estate agent i'm a preacher put tenants there and do what you want to do with it now this is on the platform of sacrifice listen to me child of god we are not in the era of mere confession confession we are in the era of war fashion we are in the era where battles are real i have seen them battles are real john 16 32 jesus said yet a little while you will leave me alone he said but i'm not alone my father is with me there are battles that will come in the midst of my battles i do two things i speak in tongues and i sow seeds I speak in tongues and I sow seeds. There are battles in life that will not end until a sacrifice leaves the altar. While I was praying today, God told me, He says, Son, there are certain issues I want to handle, and those issues can only bow when there is blood. When there is blood. When there is blood. Hear this, and I'm going to pray. A man of God was in a certain town and I happened to be in that town. The Lord said to me, give him some money. And I said, okay. So I had a thousand dollars. The Lord said, no. I had two. The Lord said, no. I called my bank. I said, can I get $32,000? He gave me. I drove to the man of God. I called him. He said, he was so, so black. Go, went to his hotel room. And I said, the Lord said, I should give you this. I gave him. I left. I forgot about it. Few days after that, I was driving... My, I had a police orderly sitting with me while I was driving a car double crossed me some guys came down with AK-47 shot into the air and the policeman was with me I said don't come down oh God now die with this oh God oh God now die with this oh, oh God now die with this I said don't come before you know it bam he was face flat with a gun they took the gun from him he said look at you he kicked his head they said oh yeah you come down I said, I'm not coming down. So I went down. I said, what do you want? And they brought the picture. I said, is this you? I said, yes. He said, come down. I said, I'm not coming down. They firstly pulled it. He said, oh God, we don't want to rough handle you. Come down. So I came down. When I came down, I said, what do you do? These people were recruited though. Professionals. I said, I'm a man of God. I'm a child of God. I'm a servant of God. He said, yeah. God we know servant we know which one are you I said I'm a servant of God so okay while I was still doing that one of the boys looked at me ah, bad market bad market bad market I said what he said ah and he introduced himself and he said do you remember me I said no 
He said, some years ago, I saw you at the airport. I was a student of Uniben studying law. And I walked to you and said, I've not paid my fees, if you could help me. And you told me you needed me to identify myself. So you believe. I brought out my ID card. You gave me more than my fees and gave me your number. I said, anytime I needed my fees, I should call you. I said, okay. I said, so why did you end up? He said, sir, the way the country is now. He said, ah. He called the boy, say, let's go. Argument. They said, no. But we are paid. He said, I brought the job to you. And I'm telling you, we are not doing it again. Let's go. When I left, he reached me on the phone. He said, sir, the people that sent us to you, I'm going to meet them in the morning. And I want to tell them that if you have headache, if you have headache, I will come after them. The Lord spoke to me. What preserved you is the seed of few days ago. A trigger happy young man would have opened fire. But God said, I see the end from the beginning. In him we live. In him we move. In him we have our being. I'm telling you, there are doors that are going to open speedily. There are doors that will spring wide open on all sides. There are mountains that will go down because the God of the mountain is the God of the valley. There are people under the sound of my voice. God is about to do something outstanding by reason of blood on the altar.